Hello and welcome to the October edition of this month's experiment from the Reuben H. Fleet Science Center in San Diego. I'm Caitlin Schindler. And I'm Brandon Elliott. So today we are going to be creating a rainbow. That's right. Yeah. So I'm going to tell you what you need for this experiment. Remember you can find all the materials and instructions on our website www.rhfleet.org. Okay, so we're going to be needing three water bottles. Okay, and we're also going to be needing three different colors of food coloring. We're going to be needing a funnel. Uh, three. We're going to be using three plastic eyedroppers today. Okay. One test tube. Uh, some salt. And, and a spoon for the salt. A spoon for the salt, and that's it, right? Yep, I think so. And we've got our paper towels. Yes, always have the paper towels. There we go. All right. Thank you very much, Brandon. You're so first, um, we filled our bottles with water, all to the same level. Um, tap water is fine. You want it to be warmish. And I am going to take the caps off okay. right here. So. so we are going to... <laughs> <laughs> all right, in the first one, we're not going to put any salt at all. We're going to leave right. that as regular old water. In the second one, put it in the funnel. Okay. That's the third one. Thank you. Sorry. We're going to put four heaping teaspoons of salt. There we we don't need to be super precise about our measurements here, but we do want to... What we're going for is a ratio, basically. All right, so there's four heaping teaspoons in that one. Okay. In this one, we will put eight. eight. Sounds good. There we go. All right. One, two, I'm spilling salt. Four, five, six, seven, and eight. There. All right. Then we need some food coloring. Okay. So we've got red in the one with no salt, yellow for the one with some salt, and blue for the one with lots of salt. Okay. Go for it. All right, so let's start with the one with no salt at all. So we're just going to put three, four, five. We want a decent color. So okay. we're, we're just going to look at how the uh, food coloring behaves here. So go ahead and want to add So it's kind of floating around in there, kind of getting cloudy. It's, it's going down to the bottom. Start to mix. Okay, sure. sounds good. Now we've got yellow here, mm -hmm. right? And let's see what happens. What are you noticing? Yeah, it looks, it's not going down nearly as fast. It's all sort of piling at the top. Yeah. It's like kinda it doesn't want to mix down there the way the, the red did. Yeah, it's kind of hanging right around to that like second or third. Yeah, now you can see it's there. starting to slowly go down. So okay. let's try the blue. One, two, three, four, five. Wow. So that's just sitting right on top there. Yeah, it's hardly moving at all. There's practically a layer there where you can see it going. Hmm. All right. Mm, interesting. Okay. So what we are going to do is put on the tops, shake them up, get them good and mixed. That one was easy. These might require a little more time. There we go. Is that pretty good? Yes, it's pretty good. Oh my goodness. There's sorry. still some salt on the bottom. We all want right. to dissolve all the salt, so oh. it might take a little while. Got it. There we go. Well, yours looks good. Let me see about mine. Oh, I still got some salt. Okay. Extremely fascinating. I can see why you'd be fascinated by it. Eh, that's looking pretty good. Okay. All right. So it took almost no time at all to mix this one. So a fair amount of time to mix up that one, and even more time to mix up the one with eight teaspoons of salt. In okay. It. All right. Now comes the rainbow. All right. All right. So we will start with the blue. Okay. The one with the most salt in it. Okay. I'm gonna do the first one. Okay. So. Squeeze the top, put it in, pull it out, and gently. And you're kind of putting the liquid along the side of the test tube. Exactly. Then, right? For the first one, it's not as important, but for the next, the other ones, it'll become really important. So you want to squeeze it so that it gently rolls down. I'm going to put a little bit more okay. in your hand now. Absolutely. All right. There we go. Perfect. All right. Switch to a clean test tube, so or clean eyedropper, so that we don't contaminate. Okay. Yellow. And we're going to do yellow. Now this one... Had half the salt of the other one, Yes, right? had half the salt, and we're going to very slowly let it go down the side of the tube. And you want to do this really slowly so that it doesn't mix them too harshly, exactly right? Exactly right. If I were to do this very fast, just dump it in there, the yellow and the blue would mix, and we would have some very beautiful green salt water. Ah, 
which is nice, but not what we're going for today. Oops. I squeezed a little too much at the end there. Okay. All you right. You can still see the difference. Yeah, you can see it. All right, you ready to do the red? I am. Okay. New test tube? New test tube. Okay. Or eyedropper. Eyedropper. Same test tube, new eyedropper. There we go. All right. And um, along the side? Along the side. Slowly, okay. slowly, slowly, slowly. See the rainbow that we formed? So we've got blue on the bottom. Then it goes wow. through green where the yellow and the blue yeah. have mixed to yellow, up to orange where the red and the yellow have mixed, and then finally up to red. So we really can... nice. It's like a full rainbow. In mm -hmm. there. We were able to create a rainbow in there just by the different amounts of salt water that we had in here. So what's the reason that they're layering like that with the different colors that we made? So the liquids are dividing themselves based on the density of each of these liquids. Density is the mass of an object. So the amount of matter that's in the object divided by its volume or the amount of space that it takes up. So think of a solid metal ball and a styrofoam ball that are the same size. Mm -hmm. They take up the same amount of space, both of them. So they have the same volume, but the metal ball weighs more. So it is therefore more dense. Mm -hmm. In this experiment, we were dissolving salt in our water bottles to make salt water solutions. Now, when we added the salt, if you look at them, it only increased the volume a little bit. Remember, we all started at the same level. Right. So it didn't increase the volume very much, but it increased the amount of matter that was in there a lot. Mm. So because of all that salt we ate, if we added. Mm. The mass is greater, but the volume is still the same. That means the density of our salt water solutions increases. And the more salt we added, the more dense or heavier the solution is. So this one is heavier than this one. This one is heavier than that. Uh, so yeah, the eight teaspoons, more dense than the one with four teaspoons, more dense than the one with no teaspoons. So this one sits on the bottom, mm -hmm. this one floats on top of it, this one floats on top of that. If we added them in a specific order, beginning with the densest, if we'd added them in another order, uh, what do you think would have happened? Uh, probably wouldn't have worked at all. Yeah, probably we would mix them and get sort of a brownish color. Yeah, yeah. Likely what would happen if we, perhaps example, put my thumb over it and Shook it up. Shook it up. Um, yeah. It just made green. They don't sort back out. No. Now it's just a lovely salty solution. But the cool thing is we could do this again. We could keep making all these different rainbows, which aren't really just rainbows in color. They're really rainbows in density, aren't they? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Very we cool. made a little density rainbow today. I like it. All right, well, thanks, Caitlin. You're welcome, Brandon. And thank you guys for watching at home. Be sure you tune in next month for this month's experiment. And always remember, do, do try, try this at home. home.